So I've had my 2008 Honda Shadow Aero 750 now for about two years. Which means I'm an expert, because that's just how that works. Overall, it's been a fantastic motorcycle, and I've loved every minute of it. Now, is the Honda Shadow 750 the end-all, be-all, perfect motorcycle? Eh, I mean, it's alright. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Because if you take two slices of bread, slap a piece of cheese between it, butter the outside, and throw her on a griddle for a second or two, you got yourself a grilled cheese sandwich. And those are pretty awesome. I will say, though, that for my needs, this bike actually does pretty much everything I need a motorcycle to. I'm not out here trying to cruise the country, which this bike is more than capable of doing, by the way. Other people that are not me have proven that. But for day trips and just back and forth to work, just regular commuting stuff, it does fantastic. But for doing exactly what I'm doing here, which is just cruising around, I'm actually on my way home from work, this bike actually shines. It only weighs about 550 pounds, which for a cruiser isn't a lot. And this 750cc V-twin, I mean, it makes about 45-ish horsepower, which if you're not a huge guy, then that's not really a problem. And being right about six foot, I am a little cramped on this thing in stock form, so there, I mean, I had to do a couple things to it. I got four inch forward controls, I put some mini boards, Mustang seat, 12 inch ape hangers, among other things, to make the bike fit me. And as you can see, for just regular cruising around, man, it's got enough. If you're hustling and bustling out here in these city streets, you'll do the trick. Freaking bird just pooped on me, do you believe that? I mean, is that a sign from up above that maybe I don't know what I'm talking about? It might be, I don't know, let me know in the comments. So I guess the question we're going to ask, is the Honda Shadow 750 the end-all be-all? Is it the perfection of motorcycling technology? I mean, probably not. Is there a huge aftermarket for these things? I mean, there's some parts you can get, but honestly... <laughs> If you're looking for a bike you can customize, you got other options. Now, is this a good beginning entry-level cruiser? Oh, heck yeah, it is. Now, do I regret buying it? No, not the least bit. It's been a fantastic, reliable machine. As long as I quit screwing with the carburetors, <laughs> it runs like a top. If you guys want any more reasons to buy one, you should check this video out right here. And until next time, y'all be good. See ya!